Very good morning, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So, of course, before we proceed, we have to share with you what happened last week in the Extreme Trader Forex uh, Premium Group. And as you can see, thankfully, Friday was really amazing day. And thankfully, um, two, uh, two signals, Pound CAD and Pound GPY, both of them have reached uh, the take profit number three, making a loan more than 240 pips of profit just alone meanwhile the other signals thankfully have reached uh, take profit number one and two both of them also 80 pips of profit meanwhile cat gpy and euro nzd closed in a very small and tiny loss not even worth to mention and i'm sharing with you right here the results from the premium group as you can see most of the signals thankfully have reached the take profits uh, number one and two right front of you my friends you can see thankfully all of the results are in green uh, small losses here and there however the profits are thankfully bigger so uh, thankfully we also have received uh, some good messages and feedbacks from our clients who are enjoying the experience um th to be honest this amount is nothing if compared to gain do you by the way guys do you are you wondering the reason why we are using these uh, uh, transparent pictures in our feedbacks uh, photos? Actually, because we have we happen to know that um, some actually scammers they are taking these feedbacks and they are uh, relating it to themselves and they are just pretending that this feedback was actually meant to them, not for us. That's why we had to protect our. Um, feedbacks by this copyright logo and therefore we just want to prevent the scammers from stealing uh, our hard work so in the end if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there all right so let's now begin the weekly analysis and of course as usual we will start with the euro usd now the very first thing we can notice on the euro usd that the pair is actually having a very strong bullish momentum and it's rising the euro usd is actually rising since 20 uh, 22nd may and if we remember that is actually the, the mid time of the pandemic itself when it was really uh, as its highest uh, level at that time however since ever the pair has been rising and it's going to continue the rise. Now, let's see until when it's going to continue rising. Now, of course, not to mention that the euro USD is rising, supported by the weakness of the US dollar currency index itself. The dollar is getting weaker. Um, of course, at this time, the dollar is, is at its worst conditions because of the upcoming news about the vaccine and they are not going to get enough vaccine, I think, uh, to the whole nation. And of course, Mr. Trump is still not giving up on winning the elections. Nobody knows why. However, uh, of course, it is all affecting the currency. So anyway, let's let's do something really interesting now. Let's zoom out and let's go to the monthly chart of the Euro USD. So we can notice here what is the happening in the pair itself. Now, if we go to the monthly chart and we can start here the, drawing the resistance trend line like that. The first thing we can notice that the pair actually has been respecting that resistance trend line since uh, i think 2088 yeah since july 2008 the pair has been respecting this resistance trend line as we can see every single time the pair has visited this resistance trend line it has always reversed however recently only it has it actually managed to make the breakout from that resistance trend line now what happened later on that the pair actually has reversed exactly at the same level after retesting the broken resistance trend line and has become of course a, su a support trend line now the only thing i can see right here that the pair is actually going to continue the rise until it hit that long-term resistance on 1000 uh, sorry 1.27090 it's going to continue the rise like that now the question is where we can start buying the euro usd now after actually saying that uh, that being said actually we're going to be longing the, the, the euro USD for the next weeks, if not the, the upcoming months as well. Now, if we look here at the left, we can see that the pair is actually facing a previous support as well. And we're actually going to rely on that support level to start buying the pair. Now, anyway, that all is telling us that the euro USD is going to continue the rise right from that point of the previous support level on 1.20472. Now let's zoom in again and go back to the daily candles. On daily candles, we can notice right here 
that this is exactly the same level of the previous uh, support which I have drawing it. And if we actually uh, draw a support trend line like that from this point right here to this point right here, and then we drag this line right here, we can notice that the pair is actually, by the way, this is one of the strategies that, that I'm using on my uh, trading. And I have explained it before uh, on my channel. It's called the magic of trend lines. Anyway. Uh, what we can notice right here that the pair has actually respected that resistance trend line and it has made the bullish breakout candle of it uh, from it sorry and then we can notice that the pair is actually about to make the final retest of that broken resistance trend line and it's going to be another support trend line all in all the euro usd in my opinion is going to reverse exactly from that point right here let's just write the line a little bit more and it's going to be exactly like this and you know something uh let me just go to the uh let me go to the left i want to make my line really perfect just like that and uh, yes perfect i'm actually looking right here on that resistance uh to my to mark my line in a way it's, ma it's matching all of the tails so that is gonna be in my opinion the perfect way to draw the the, the support uh, the support line and therefore we have to wait for the euro usd to fall for another 44 bips before it's gonna be valid for the buy now of course if we started buying the pair from that point let's go now back to the monthly chart so we can tell until when we can uh, keep the trade running now if we go here to the monthly chart what we can see right here on the left that we need to draw the support zone so since i have draw my support right here i'm gonna actually draw the support zone like that exactly like this so this is the support zone the edge of that zone is gonna be my take profit level so if i started buying the pair from that point right here on uh, 1.20688 uh, the target is gonna be almost 200 pips uh, 1.22834 however just to be realistic i'm gonna make it half of that like that that is one of the strategies uh, that I'm using actually to be always safe. So once you make a target for your trade, select the half of it or actually 75% of it. Um, just to be sure that you are not going to miss the trade because you are greedy for more pips. So the idea, and I don't know if anybody, if anybody will agree with me. Uh, for example, if I place a buy order right here and my target is this resistance, I'm going to make my target right here. So this is one of the ways that I will not be missing this trade. And therefore, I'm going to be actually uh, fair with myself that, that, okay, that actually I, I have analyzed that the pair is going to reach this level, but let's not just be so greedy and let's set the target to be a little bit uh, lower or half of it. Anyway, that's not our subject. Our subject is we need to talk about the entry. So we're going to buy the Euro, sorry, the Euro USD. Come on. Okay. The euro USD is going to be good for the buy at 1.20688. And the target this time, the take profit is going to be 1.21876. Now let's go back to the daily candles so we can actually uh, define the safe zone. This is the buy level. That is our take profit level like that. And the safe zone, of course, is going to be ranging until hitting that previous resistance right here. Look at that. We are having right here a previous resistance. So there is a chance, there is a possibility that the pair might actually fall to hit that previous resistance. However, uh, we need to keep the trade running. Let me just show you until when. Exactly like that. By the way, guys, my eyes looking right here at the peak of that previous resistance. So therefore, the safe zone is going to be ranging for exactly 55 pips, no more which is really fair enough. I know it was very long time to explain about the Euro USD. We took seven minutes just to talk about this pair. However, it is very important. And I think uh, we had to uh, implement this explanation just to make sure that you guys understand how I'm taking these signals. So uh, this is the, everything for the Euro USD. Hopefully it's going to be a good signal and hopefully we'll make good profits out of it. Now, since we have taken so much time with the euro USD, let's go quicker and faster on the other pairs. So regarding the pound USD, the pound USD is actually, as we can see right here, uh, the pair is respecting the uh, long term support trend line like that. As you can see, most likely the, the pound USD is actually going to continue climbing its way. Or uh, I think it's going to climb all the way 
until it hit that long term support, uh, sorry, resistance right here. So that being said, uh, we need to look at the good level to start buying the pair. And as we can see, the pair has visited that previous support level on 1.31710 and the rejection was quite strong. So that indicates a rejection on the level, meaning the pair is actually going to continue rising. So where exactly we can start buying the pound USD? The pound USD actually going to be good for the buy exactly from the same level of that previous support level, which was also previously a resistance. So we have to wait for the pound USD to fall for another 27 pips, I think a little bit more. Uh, just I just want to give give you the most accurate signals, my friends. So therefore, the pound USD is good for the buy at 31.836. And the target, as I have mentioned earlier, is going to be the take profit is going to be 1.33944. Now, uh, regarding the safe zone, of course, it's going to be ranging until the end of that tail, as we can see, or that previous support right here. Uh, right here. So the safe zone is going to actually, yeah, that's a lot. Exactly. The safe zone is going to be ranging until the bottom of this uh, tail. So we are talking about almost 50 pips of the safe zone should be hopefully good. So there goes your signal for the pound USD. Hopefully also it will work for us well and bring us lots of profits. Now let's look at the AUD USD. So the AUD USD on the daily candles, if we zoom out, we can see that the pair has managed to finally make the, the breakout from the long term resistance since uh, almost three years or two years. Sorry. No, I think three years. Um, yes, almost two years, two years and, and a little few months. However, uh, the pair has actually made the uh, bullish breakout from that resistance. And therefore, we can expect to start buying the pair once it fall down to retest the broken resistance. And we can keep buying the level. Oh, sorry, we can buy the pair until it hit that previous resistance level right here on 0 0.76890. As you notice, I'm just going faster because <laughs> the euro USD took really long time, and I don't want to make the video so boring. But however, I want it to be educational as well, so everyone should know and uh, understand the reason behind a each and every single uh, signal, uh, rather than just uh, taking picture of them and trade them without understanding so uh, we can buy the AUD UST from the level 0 0.74785 um, that's gonna be a good level to start buying the AUD UST if we go to the four hour time frame we can see that the pair right now uh, is reversing this is a good a bearish uh, reversal uh, pattern or indicator Therefore, we can see that these three candles right here indicating that the pair has actually managed or actually tried to break out from the resistance. However, it failed and therefore we can look for the pullback and the pullback is actually going to expire right here at that previous resistance. That is exactly where we are going to start buying the pair. So the buy is going to be right here. Now regarding the take profit level, the take profit level is actually going to be almost the same level of the peak of the resistance. So we are looking for almost 100 pips of profit exactly like like this my friends so let me just write for you uh, take profit level is gonna be 0 0.75739 actually i need to reduce it a little bit more uh, just make it 30 that's better 30 yeah and of course for the safe zone is gonna be ranging until uh, the edge of that previous support level so it's gonna be almost 45 pips no more uh, that's fair enough so there goes your signal for the AUD USD. Hopefully also it will work very well and bring us lots of profits. Let's take a look at the USD CAD. So the USD CAD right now is actually facing a previous uh, support level on uh, the four hour time frame. We can see that the pair actually has managed to finish the pullback. So therefore we can expect from the USD CAD to actually continue the fall. The bearish momentum is quite strong for the USD CAD, as we can see. Therefore, uh, we need, just need to look for the best levels to start selling the pair. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think that the pair is going to actually uh, fall right away on opening the, of the market on Monday. I believe that the pair actually, since it has already made one attempt of the previous support level, and we can see that the candle actually has closed like that. Um, there was a pressure from the buyers or from the bulls to take the market up. 
However, I think they're gonna fail. Eventually they're gonna fail. And therefore we can look for another attempt and there uh, we can start shorting the USD CAD on the resistance number two. And therefore we need to wait for the USD CAD to rise for another almost 25 pips before it's gonna be valid for the short. So therefore, this, this is exactly where we will start shorting the USD CAD at 1.27905. That's going to be ideal to sell the USD CAD, I think. And if we draw the safe zone, I think it's going to be ranging, I think, higher than that. Um, I think we can make it up to this next, this previous support level right here. However, I think all in all, the pair is actually going to continue the fall uh, right after hitting that resistance trend line. There is a slight chance also that the pair actually might start falling right away at the opening of the market at Monday. However, um, the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost four, uh, 55 four pips. There goes the signal for the USD card like that. And of course, regarding the take profit level, we actually going to make it a little bit more lower than the current uh, support level. So we are looking for almost 92, 92 pips of profit. Uh, actually, you know something, just to be fair, I'm going to make my target exactly the lowest level of the support level. So the target is going to be 85 pips of profit. Hopefully, really, it's going to work us uh, work uh, well for us and we'll make good profit out of it. So the take profit level is 1.27057. So there goes your signal for the USD CAD. Let's look at the USD JPY. USD JPY actually... I'm really happy because it actually respected the resistance trend line I talked about earlier. As we can see, I have drawn that blue line. If you can, if you can uh, watch again my uh, last uh, weekly analysis uh, video, I have drawn this uh, blue line right here uh, like that. And I mentioned that the pair actually might reverse exactly at that point and gonna continue the fall. And this is exactly what happened. And I'm gonna delete this right now. And as we can see, the USD JPY is actually uh, facing a strong bearish momentum. Therefore, we need to look at the best levels to start shorting the pair. Now, if I'm not mistaken, and since that the, the USD JPY actually has fallen or actually has been respecting that resistance trend line, we can expect from the pair to rise for a few pips more before actually gonna continue the fall. So therefore, USD JPY should be good for the sell again at the level 104.146 just like that and the safe zone of course is going to be ranging until the peak of that resistance level right here so it's going to be only only 40 pips and no more just like that and of course the target as well is going to be the lowest level of that pre uh, previous support level so we are looking for almost um 92 pips of profit from this trade Really hope it will work for us very well. Uh, tech profit for the USD GPY is 103.217. Hopefully also it will work very well for us and will bring us lots of profits. Now let's look at the USD CHF. USD CHF actually uh, still facing a strong bearish momentum as well. And we can expect from the pair to rise to hit the, the peak of the resistance right here exactly right here actually yes right right here i'm, I'm satisfied with that 0 0.81 triple eight nine triple one and after that the pair actually gonna continue the fall so we need to to wait for it to rise for another 16 pips before it's gonna be good for the sell so therefore um usd chf sell at 0 0.89 triple one and the safe zone, of course, is going to be ranging a little bit above that previous resistance. So it's going to be for almost 47 pips, which is fair enough. Just like that. And the target this time, actually, we're going to set the target a little bit lower than the previous support. USDCHF is really harder to analyze right now because the pair is actually falling harder and harder. And it's breaking. It has actually made the breakout through a very long term support. Therefore, uh, if I need to analyze it, I need to go to the weekly candles and it's actually not going to be uh, good at all to view on YouTube. So therefore, I'm going to, I have to be, um, I actually, it's, it's going to be enough to, to just uh, make the target right here, just below the support level. So we are looking for 71 pips of profit from uh, this trade of the USD CHF. 
so the target is gonna be uh, 0 0.8400 uh, there goes your signal for the USTCHF and really hope it will work uh, very well for us and bring us lots of profits now let's analyze the gold the gold has been really so tricky recently as you can see the pair has made this ugly fake breakout from that resistance from that previous support level um, look at that guys really that is so ugly the pair actually suddenly made that strong rising like that breaking out from that uh, previous support level then went up like that and immediately fallen so instead of continuing the rise it just continued the fall and therefore it seems like the pair right now is actually ranging in this channel however if i'm not mistaken i believe that the gold is actually going to continue the rise however this channel right here is really so ugly this channel right here like that let me just draw it for you like that yes so the pair actually is rising inside this channel and as i said before once the pair actually has made what seems like a break out of that channel it immediately fall down inside it and again trapped inside the channel again so what is going to happen actually in, if i'm not mistaken and in my opinion the pair actually gonna fall until it hit that previous uh, resistance level and then from that point the gold is actually gonna be good for the buy if i'm not mistaken also because as i said before my friends the pair is actually respecting the support trend lines and if we draw right here a support trend line like that the pair seems like it's actually gonna uh, fall again all the way as i said before for 180 pips before it's gonna be valid for the buy it has to retest that broken resistance again on one uh, 1818 and that's gonna be ideal level to start buying the gold the gold definitely is gonna continue the rise it's just a matter of when we can start buying it sadly it's gonna it's gonna take some time because we need to wait for the pair to fall for another 200 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy now the question is can we start shorting the gold right now hmm not really i would never recommend uh, selling the gold at the moment because as i said before the gold is trapped in neutral channel if it was a downtrend or an upper trend i would advise that but however the neutral trend is dangerous because the pair actually gonna keep moving up and down just like that so if you open a trade right here you will find yourself in profit then you'll be in loss again in profit in loss and profit and loss and profit and losses so therefore it's not really ideal at all to open the trade right here you can short the gold if you want if it reached the peak of the resistance at, at uh, what, um, 1847, maybe, I hope it will work. I hope it will be a valid signal if you start shorting the gold from that level and you can keep the target at that previous support level as I'm going to mention the buy right now. However, I still recommend everyone to wait for the right moment to start buying the gold. So the buy is going to be at uh, 1818.36. That's going to be ideal level to start buying the gold and of course the safe zone is going to be ranging until uh, that previous support level so it's going to be ranging for almost 111 pips which is really fair enough when we are talking about uh, the gold and i think i'm gonna need to delete these uh, lines so they won't confuse you all right so if in case we started buying the gold right now uh, from that point i'm i'm talking about the target is going to be good because we're talking about the peak of that resistance right here so therefore if we buy the gold from that point the target is going to be 465 pips of profit really hope it will work very well and bring us lots of profit take profit as 1864 that's it so there goes your signals for this week I really hope it will be a very profitable week for everyone and it seems like it's going to be a promising week with a lot of news a lot of events that actually going to push the market and give it uh, high volatility we have to be careful as well and we have to look for these good profits so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching